We're here aboard Arctic Monkey. She's a 2015 Garcia Exploration 45. We're in the cockpit and we're going to go down below to take a tour of the interior. And one of the real highlights of these boats is the watertight companionway doors. You can see these are doors like you see on a fishing boat. They're also double paned. So they provide great insulation. It's very surprising how quiet these boats are when you're underway because of those um, watertight doors. So coming below, there's just two steps down into the pilot house. And you can see we have this nice raised salon space where we have sight lines from a standing position uh, from 270 degrees. Uh, there is a L-shaped dinette to starboard and a little settee inboard there. And then forward, we have uh, the pilot house helm station. Uh, there's not a bad place to sit on these boats. I, in particular, like the aft end of the starboard settee here, which has a little footrest that pops up. And that's a great place to sit when you're on watch offshore. Uh, these windows are double paned uh, like the pilot uh, companionway door is uh, and the forward windows are raked forward like a fish boat would be which really cuts the glare and uh, sheds the water when you have uh, rain or, or waves coming over the deck. Uh, here at the nav station we have chart plotter, uh, autopilot control, uh, engine throttle shift control, radios and then uh, the switch panel for many of the uh, main devices. Uh, everything's right close at hand. So to port in the pilot house we have uh, the galley uh, forward. There are two drawer freezers or, or fridges. There's a freezer a uh, separate compartment in the starboard aft cabin that we'll see in a little bit. A uh, nice deep single bin sink. Uh, there's a trash bin and a big locker uh, beneath the sink there and then some nice drawers below the settee that's inboard. Coming aft here we have a three burner stove, some more drawers below the aft end, and then a really nice opening port big opening port that brings in a, a, a lot of airflow when we're cooking. It's a really nice feature. After the galley we have the port quarter cabin. Uh, this is a quarter berth. There is a uh, nice size hanging locker to port and forward and you can see uh, there's opening port and then some nice whole side windows. That hatch in the aft bulkhead leads to the aft compartment where the uh, rudders and steering gear are located. So that is a watertight, completely separate compartment from the rest of the boat. That's a real safety feature. You can see the companionway stairs. The engine compartment is located directly beneath the companionway stairs and there's good access from the top and from the sides. The batteries are located on either side of the engine um, outboard. So looking over to starboard, we have the aft head. Uh, this, this head uh, has a shower that's integral to the space so we can see the grate uh, over the shower sump there. There's some nice storage beneath the sink an opening port providing some ventilation. And then looking aft to starboard, beyond the head we have an, another uh, electrical panel with uh, switches for uh, other equipment, uh, bilge pump controls, uh, it, diesel heater uh, control, and uh, the switch panel for the uh, Victron inverter charger. And then into the starboard aft cabin, this is a bunk room in this configuration. So we're looking at the top bunk and then the bottom bunk. And then inboard here is the drawer freezer we talked about 
with some storage above and then aft of that is some additional storage um, and the uh, battery charger and inverter aft. So moving forward, there are two bunks to port and these bunks are great uh, passage C bunks or uh, additional storage space. And then the master stateroom in the bow. This is a walk around berth with drawers beneath. There's really nice light in this space with these um, windows in the hull sides. A shelf along the hull, hanging locker over here to starboard. And then as we come into the head, it's a nice big head compartment. Again, with a uh, draining shower sump. So there's a shower that's integral to this head as well.